couple of months ago I purchased an AccuCut speedometer. It works extremely well. However, it is unsightly and it requires the use of AAA batteries which do not bear it last very long. I decided to use my new skills with Arduinos to permanently mount two speedometers, one for the southern track and one for the northern track, to record the speeds. As you can see, they are extremely accurate. They were very expensive, inexpensive, uh, combined cost approximately 50 Australian dollars. It requires the use of sensors. These IR sensors are about one or two dollars. These ones are temporarily mounted. These ones have been more permanently mounted under the road bed. The locomotive pass is the first sensor. It sends a signal to the Arduino, which starts timing. As soon as it passes the second sensor, another signal is sent to the Arduino, which then begins to perform the calculations to say how long it's taken for the train to traverse that distance. Mine are exactly uh, one metre and 1.5 metres apart to make calculations easy. Uh, this is the Arduino Uno. This one I prefer as it's uh, a lot easier to use. The um, wires just plug straight in. It's a little bit more expensive than the Arduino Nano. You can see the Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is much smaller, but it is also much fiddlier. I highly recommend the use of the I2C L liquid crystal display units. With the I2C on the back, it makes the wiring a great deal easier. Uh, the hardest part of the uh, installation was the, the sketch or the programming and the finding of the library for the I2C liquid crystal display. I'll put a copy of the sketch uh, below and I hope that it helps other people. It was a challenge, it wasn't easy, but if I can do it, I honestly think that anyone can do it. It just takes a lot of perseverance. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.